Hello friends, welcome back. So let's start with uh, what is WPCLI. So uh, basically uh, WPCLI is the command line interface uh, to manage the WordPress uh, from the uh, terminal, uh, for, from the terminal, right? So basically whatever you do uh, in a, the WordPress admin in a browser, same things you can do um, uh, through the CLI as well. For example, creating the users, installing the plugins, activate, deactivate the themes, uh, and then managing the post, create the post, anything. So, so basic functionality, whatever you do from the admin, you can do using the WP CLI as well. Then why WP CLI? So first is uh, performing any action takes fewer steps, needs through. So let's say uh, if you want to install the plugin uh, uh, in, in your site, then you you need to log in for you need to open the browser, you need to log in, then just go to the plugins, then search about the plugins, install the plugin from the wp.org or by the zip directory, all of the stuff. But but from using the WP select just from single command, you can install or download uh, the plugin and or to also the theme. So many fewer uh, steps will take to perform any actions using the WP select. Second is the migrations. Uh, at RTKM, I'm working on many migrations projects and for for developing the migration scripts for like from migrating the wordpress to wordpress site or or non wordpress to uh, wordpress sites we develop the migration script in the wpsli because it's run from the terminal we don't need to worry about the timeout issue with the browser and all of the stuff and it, it can run on as long as we need the third one is the background jobs for any background jobs uh, we can perform through the wpsli for example generating the reports and sending or sending the weekly reports of of uh, any reports like based on your uh, uh, based on your features and requirements you can we can do the background jobs as well using the wp cli and third is the building the tools for example the easy engine so we have at adicam we have uh, developed the easy engine based on the php uh, using the wordpress uh, wp cli code base so we took the wp cli code base which uh, give the basic uh, uh, command line interface to set up the command line uh, uh, to set up the commands and we use this wp cli uh, uh, for for uh, developing the easy engine so easy engine version 3 is like was in a python uh, version but now we have developed in the php and using the wp cli so that uh, so using that you can create your own tools as well in, uh, using the wp cli code base as well so this is the like main uh, uh, benefits of using the wp cli and then about installing wp cli i will not uh, uh, so how we can install you uh, visit this just link the handbook link on the make.wordpress.org and you will find plenty of like ways to install the WPSL based on your operating system and the environments you can follow so be, i i'm using the mac os and uh, i'm using the brew for the packet manager i installed the WPSL using the uh, using the brew yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress